Hello and welcome to the Cylinder Contribution Training Module. Today we're going to perform a cylinder contribution test on a Detroit DD-13 engine. A cylinder contribution test is going to identify any weak or misfiring cylinders, which we can then narrow down to an injector or in-cylinder problem. So first we're going to go ahead and get connected to our engine. Okay, so once we're connected to our engine, we're going to go to the Activations tab, and then we're going to perform our cylinder cutoff test. And again, we have our help file come up, which will give us any preconditions we need to meet to run the test, and any special instructions that we need to follow while actually performing the test. So we'll go ahead and click Confirm, and again, for this manufacturer, we have to actually enter the current date to be able to perform our test. And again, it's going to give us some conditions. We need the engine idling. We have to have the park brake on. And we can cut out three cylinders at a time. So we'll go ahead and click Confirm. And with the engine running, we can see that we have a couple of different parameters that we can look at. We have engine speed, we have a coolant temperature, and the actual torque. So you can see down at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen the different cylinders. And you can see they're all on. So what we do is use the up or down arrow to pick a cylinder and click confirm. And this is going to shut that cylinder off. So now you're going to be listening for a variation in the idle and vibration in the engine to tell whether that cylinder is actually contributing. So you can see we've cut out cylinder one and you can see a slight difference in the graph uh, when we cut the cylinder out, uh, but it's not a very drastic change. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually cut out multiple cylinders, which is going to give you more variation in the graph, and it's going to be easier to see uh, visually whether the cylinders are contributing or not. So I'm going to go ahead and cut cylinder 2 back on, and then we're going to cut out multiple cylinders. So we'll go to cylinder 1, and I'm going to turn it off, and then we'll go up to cylinder 2, and cut that one off and then we'll do cylinder 3 as well and cut that off and now you can actually see in the graph the actual torque has jumped up that's because the engine is now having to use more fuel to keep the engine running and now we can go in and turn cylinder 3 back on and then we can do a cutout on cylinder 4 five and six and we can watch the graph and make sure the actual torque is jumping up like it should so you can see here that all of our cylinders are performing like they should if we were to cut out a cylinder and we hear no audible change or we see no change in our engine torque then we would have a suspect injector or a cylinder issue and keep in mind that OEM manufacturers don't always perform their cylinder contribution tests in the same way. Some will give you an automated test that will give you a pass-fail result at the end, and some may give you fuel usage parameters to watch when performing your cutouts. But the main principles shown in this video can be used to diagnose misfire issues on many manufacturers. And this concludes our cylinder contribution training module. Thank you.